Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn March 5, 2023. Today brings Venus and Chiron into alignment, and open, sensitive, and fresh communications can lead to the chance to bond and connect with others. Talking opens doors, and others might enjoy your words of wisdom, even more so than usual. Today's transits are good for detoxing and releasing negative energy. It's a fine time to resolve to let go of a mental burden. You're also in good shape to improve a fundamental area of your life, particularly in your domestic world. Even though there is more sensitivity than usual today, healing becomes more likely with openness. There can be a new beginning in a relationship, learning program, or personal interest. Mental mercury is zipping forth rapidly, leaving your zodiac sign behind. This is because he has new duties in the sky to attend to. As he ventures forth, you will find yourself feeling a bit more emotional and possessive, as well as considering your innermost values and morals and how they relate to others. When it comes to your romantic life, this can help you to listen to your intuition and consider how you can lead with sympathy and devotion, as well as communicate more sensitively rather than being entirely led by logic. Listen to the voice within. Do not let anyone silence you. Usually, you are a rather detached air sign who does not give problems the time of day. But you still want to be listened to, which may be amplified if a coworker is not hearing you when Venus in Aries conjuncts Chiron in Aries today. You deserve to be heard in your workspace since you have wonderful ideas and opinions to contribute. However, you may have to work extra hard when speaking up and not let others cut you off in the process. Be assertive in conversation. It is just as Mercury is spending his first full day in your income sector that the Moon is wrapping up its last visit to your work sector before Mars returns. For both the Moon and Mercury these are ordinary events, with the Moon returning every four weeks and Mercury at around this time each year, but in both cases, this is preparation for major developments ahead on the income and job fronts. Today's pleasant aspect concerns all things romantic. You will be especially able to use your intuitive powers to sense the right time to make your feelings known, and your body in a way that feels pleasing to you and to others. This could be your facial expressions, physical affection, or perhaps giving those who need it their space. To enhance this harmonious aspect, treat yourself to something that relaxes both body and mind, a massage, a sauna, or a walk in the woods. Don't let conventional thinking hold you back on this day. Even if you're usually a real stickler for the rules, allowing yourself to reach beyond the confines just once in a while can bring so much to your well-being. Be daring and explore all of the options, no matter how obscure. Chances are you might just find the perfect solution to a problem, or an ideal method of tackling a current project. If you always stick to the known and safe, expansion and growth will take far longer than it needs to. Nearly two weeks after your birthday month ended, Mercury's departure from Aquarius yesterday has helped to tie up the loose ends of the launch of this new solar year while leaving you mentally focused. This will be an advantage as Saturn moves into his final days in Aquarius and as you commit to the future. As the planet of communication, Mercury has also left you better able to keep the communication lines open, something that you can take advantage of as the moon returns to your relationship sector. In a case of perfect timing the moon not only returns to your relationship sector a day after Mercury, the planet of communication left Aquarius but just as Venus and Chiron, the planets of love and healing align in your communication sector. This was always going to be a day where words had the power to heal, with the moon returning to ensure you are emotionally engaged. Our eyes in the sky. Today, Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and harmony, forms a conjunction with Chiron, the centaur associated with healing and transformation, in the fiery sign of Aries. This celestial event signals a powerful day of change and healing in matters of the heart. As Venus and Chiron align in Aries, we are prompted to reflect on our past decisions concerning love and romance. This cosmic influence urges us to re-evaluate any past hurts or heartaches and find ways to heal and move forward. 
It's an opportune time to implement growth and positive change into our lives. If you've been carrying any guilt or emotional baggage from past relationships, this is the perfect time to release it. Letting go can be a cathartic experience, allowing you to free yourself from any negative patterns or beliefs that may be holding you back from experiencing the love and happiness you deserve. Take advantage of this celestial energy and embrace the opportunity to heal, grow, and transform your love life. It's time to create a brighter, more fulfilling future by learning from the past and making positive changes in the present. The Cancer Moon and Pluto in Capricorn create a challenging opposition in the morning, which can trigger feelings of fear and helplessness. We may feel like we are facing insurmountable obstacles that are preventing us from achieving our goals or finding personal happiness. This aspect can also highlight power dynamics within our relationships or institutions. We may feel like powerful people or organizations are standing in the way of our success, and we may struggle to assert our own authority in these situations. However, it's important to remember that our perceptions may be distorted by our fears and anxieties. We may be assigning more power and authority to these external forces than they actually have, and we may be responding to them as if they are a direct threat to our well-being. As the moon enters its void of course following this aspect, it's best to avoid making any important decisions until our judgment is less clouded by these intense emotions. This is a time for reflection and introspection, allowing us to gain a clearer understanding of our fears and how they may be impacting our relationships and decision-making. Instead of giving in to our fears and anxieties, we can use this opposition as an opportunity to face our deepest fears and gain a sense of empowerment. By acknowledging our fears and taking proactive steps to address them, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that can help us navigate even the most challenging obstacles in our lives. In less than an hour after the challenging opposition between the Cancer Moon and Pluto in Capricorn, the Moon enters the playful and creative sign of Leo, marking the end of its void of course. This shift in energy brings a light-hearted and joyful vibe that lasts for the next two days. During this time, we may feel a stronger emotional connection to pleasure, play, and our inner child. We are more expressive of our feelings and desire to make others feel special, as we crave the same in return. The spotlight may feel natural to us, and we may enjoy being the center of attention. However, this energy can also bring a tendency to stir up drama when faced with boredom or a lack of excitement. We may feel the need to create a sense of excitement or drama to keep things interesting, which can sometimes lead to conflicts or unnecessary tension. It's important to be mindful of this tendency and find healthy ways to channel our creative energy and desire for playfulness. This is a great time to explore new hobbies or engage in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. We can also use this energy to express ourselves creatively and connect with our inner child in a positive and constructive way.